This is Screencast 1.5 for AP Chemistry, some frequently asked questions about the AP Chemistry test. I hope you'll find this interesting and useful. Uh, this is the AP Chemistry test for 2016-2017. When is it? May 1st. How long is it? Three hours? What are the prerequisites? You should have successfully completed a general high school chemistry course in Algebra 2. You wouldn't be here unless you already did that. The format of the test, in case you don't already know. You got a multiple choice section. It's 60 questions, 90 minutes, 50% of the exam score, no calculators. Section 2 is the FRQ section. Free response questions. There's three long and four short. It's 105 minutes, and that's 50% of your score. You get a score of 1 through 5. The test covers atomic structure, intermolecular forces, bonding, chemical reactions, but most importantly, kinetics, thermodynamics, and equilibrium, especially equilibrium. That applies to as many as four chapters of the 15 in this uh, school year. What's not on the test is a really good question to ask, since there's a lot of material that can get covered in AP course that never gets uh, tested. I've consulted with Fred Vital, who is the uh, coordinator for Connecticut for AP Chemistry. I have uh, researched the work of Adrian Dingle, who's big on this topic, and I've uh, perused it in general, and so we're not going to study things that are not on the test. Unless an occasion, we just can't resist for things briefly like organic chemistry. What scores get college credit? Well, here's the official designation. Five's awesome, four is great, three passes, two's no good, one's no good, and be aware that some colleges no longer uh, give you college credit at all, uh, and yet students still want to do them for a couple reasons. One, it looks great on your transcript. Number two, you get a generous uh, grade multiplier, and so students are still taking AP Chemistry. Some, cl cl uh, some schools are taking IB Chemistry, which is in somewhat competition with AP Chemistry, and has been around for quite some time. Some good resources are the chemistry overview by the College Board, and most of this information came directly from the College Board, which is the final word on the matter. They're the ones who offer the course. You might find this interesting. These are historical AP chemistry test scores since the beginning of time. Well, since 2007. Um, the number of students has risen dramatically from a little under 100,000 to over 150,000. This data hasn't been published yet, but probably it's still going up. Uh, scores uh, have been, on, as an average overall, about 2.7 or so. Uh, let's see, here it's listed at 2.66. Here we compare, uh, since they've been offered, the average overall test scores for every AP course that is available. And notice that the scores for chemistry are among the lowest. Physics shows up as lower, but note that Physics 2 goes up higher, and Physics, what they call C, goes up to well above A3. So it can be argued that it's the hardest science AP chemistry class. And it's one of the hardest AP classes overall in terms of average test scores. Be also aware that uh, the test changed in 2014 to a less mathematical and more touchy-feely sort of format. And as a result, the test scores went down dramatically. Take a look at the drop here between 2000 and 2013 and 14 with the average test scores. They did go up slightly this year, but it's not a big switch. And this is how things uh, look overall. If you want, there's some things you can click on here or here to get more information on this. And I am happy to say that for me and Mrs. Urban students, we got a 3.7 average overall. And I believe that had a lot to do with our month of review that we did during April, which most students said was very, very helpful. The test in 2014 did change. Yeah, let's cover this briefly. Uh, to a format that is longer, more in-depth, and has lab-based questions. And you can see that the scores did go down as a result, but now people have adjusted to it, and they're starting to go back up a little bit. So that's a little bit about the new a 2014 AP Chemistry test.